Hey guys, um, this is Thomas. Okay, so I've had a problem and we're gonna try to work this out. Um, basically, I bought this bought this Phoenix 24/7 light, and uh, it comes with a 24/7 mode, which seems exciting. But when you run a two a CO2 setup and you have a photo period issue with when should you start and end the CO2, how much light is how much light is actually light like this right here looks bright and colorful in here but actually like these lights just flipped on and even though this looks colorful and it looks all great and crazy red really there's not a lot of light going on in here so really I guess I mean I don't know they're, they're colors so I it's a confusing thing when you run CO2 so I wanted to try the 24-7 mode, but the 24-7 mode looks like this. Hit demo. So from basically from from off to lights on, which what do we got here? 12 a.m., 3 a.m. So 6 a.m. is basically when the lights would kick on in theory. So it would look like this, 6 a.m. And then by the time it gets to noon, it's bright white. Like my tank usually looks just bright white because I always have the fluval in the back running too. Then it'd go to the sunset. Then it'd get a little more red and blue, then a little more blue, and then it'll fade to off. And really it's only off for, it's only off for about maybe three, um, four hours let me turn the demo back off this thing is okay <clears throat> here's my 24 7 mode I didn't program my own I used the regular 24 7 mode however all I did was all I did was worked it out so okay before the headlights were on straight timers <clears throat> and no intensity changes throughout so my co2 was 1 to 9 30 that's eight and a half hours that's three hours before photo period so my um, lights both of them on the same timer the phoenix 24 7 and the fluval aqua sky in the background which you can see which the little things are on back there my little Full rack that's the fluval light that fluval light stays on max <clears throat> and okay so we had 4 p.m. to midnight which is eight hours that was this was my photo period I had started off lower and slowly ramped it up week by week and the co2 I tweaked and tried different things and in basically ended up with three hours before it clicked on three hours before the lights and then it clicked off 8.5 two and a half hours before lights and the drop checker stays perfect lime green the whole time now this is what's going to throw things off because I'm trying the Phoenix 24 7 mode 24 7 mode starting with 4 a.m. the lights are off now here at 7 a.m. is when the lights basically come on so 7 a.m. right around here they fade on and then well, it's 8 o'clock. It's 8 in the morning right now, so this is going between the 7 and 10 o'clock setting. So 10 o'clock is like sunrise. It's going to ramp up slowly, so it goes from off and a slow ramp up until... So 1 p.m. is bright bright. 4 p.m. is pretty bright with a little more... This is really bright white. This is kind of like the blue fading in bright and then it goes down so basically the six hour bright photo period is somewhere between here and here between near the one to right past the four that's the brightest photo period on this 24-7 um, mode and then it starts to kind of go down into our sunset mode which looks a little more like this down to from 7 to 10 towards 1 a.m. where it 
the ramps down until 4 a.m. it's off again. So basically, during the max bright light, during the max bright light, I will be running the fluval in the background. If I can get this to, why is it not turning on? Oh, it's because it's on the timer. This video is a very, a lot of people probably can't even watch this, but I mean, this is kind of for my own personal thing too. So sorry about all of everything, whatever. So. The Fluval LED, which runs on bright white. There. Got it. Sorry. Anyways, so as you can see, the fluval makes the reds and oranges like more kind of what they color they really are, sort of. Actually, it has adds a little yellow to the colors. So really, like these arcuatas back here are actually a red. If I clip them off and pull them out of the water, they're red, blood red. But under the fluval bright light, which bright light is what gives them the reds, but in turn, if I'm running the bright white the whole time, it's always going to look orange. I like the orange, but not all the time. And my Ritalas look orange and my reds look pink. So, this way I get to enjoy the 24-7 mode. Like, I mean, look at those colors. Um, I get to enjoy the 24-7 mode still. Now, the only problem is that I have to work out... CO2 to keep that drop checker lime green. So how do we do that when there's light all through here? This is barely, barely light. I don't know if that's enough light to photosynthesize or not or what. So what I'm trying to do is, since this is the max light coming on here, I would say 7 a.m. Because around 10, between 10 to 1, it starts to get higher intensity. So I would say 7 in the morning. Right now, it's 8.05 in the morning. The CO2 is already running. So it's pumping CO2 in there right now. And the CO2 is going to be 8.5 hours like it was before. So the CO2 is going to go from 7 a.m. to 3.30. So around here, 4 and 5 to 5.30-ish, when the lights start to pump down, um, hopefully the rest of the CO2 can get used up but not overused. What I don't want is a pH swing. If you have not enough CO2, then your lights turn on, your lights can use it all up, and then it can drop, it can uh, raise your pH back. You don't want swings, that's what helps cause algae. So I'm trying to keep my drop check. I'm trying to fill it up. I need to fill it up to lime green, basically, before the plants get enough light to really start kicking in. The plants need to ramp up. Plants do ramp up. Plants start off and then they ramp up. That's why leaves start up. You see the Ritalas? See the Ritalas? They're pointing straight up. Well, as they get start getting enough light, they're going to slowly start opening up. So plants do ramp up. When they fully ramp up after two to four hours, two to four or four to six, that's when they need brighter light more co2 and they really really hit hard that's when you really need like um if they burn up your if they burn up all your co2 you get swings so i don't know uh it's kind of hard to explain but this is just sort of for my own reference too but um i can explain this better maybe a different time but this is what i'm trying with the 24 7 mode and the co2 so i can enjoy some colors and some viewing and whatever and hopefully not an algae farm and we'll see how this works